Hello, my name is Ellen Burns and welcome to a tutorial on how to use ePals.com. We're going to go kind of quick, so try to bear with me here. First thing you need to do is register with ePals.com, just like you'd register with any social networking site. That's what ePals is. So you need to create a username and a password. Now, I've circled the wrong box. You need to go to the box below. It says new to ePals. It's free. Once you go to the ePals homepage, you need to click on the join now button. Then you need to enter in your information. After you enter in your email and click confirm, you'll need to visit your own email inbox and look for an email. There's a link inside the email that you'll click in order to complete your registration with the site. Here's an example. I've underlined the link and highlighted it, so you need to click on the words continue ePals registration. That will take you here. At this point in time, I have access to everything that ePals has to offer. So I'm going to take a look around. Focus areas. Hmm. I wonder what that is. It says human rights. I'm interested in that. My students should be interested in that, so let's take a look at what that is. Okay, well it's a contest sponsored by ePals and National Geographic. Apparently the winners of the contest get to make a publication in the magazine. It's pretty cool. Here's some examples of what was published. So that's something that any student, whether they're part of a classroom project or not, can participate in. Some other things that ePels have to, has to offer. Connect. Search for classrooms. Now this function allows teachers to connect with classrooms all over the world so they can collaborate with other teachers and students on projects, pen pals, etc. So let's take a look at what's out there. Okay, well, I'm in the United States. I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous. I want to collect with some global classrooms. Let's try that. Okay, how about Europe? Germany looks good. Click on the map. That will take you here. Here you have a list of all the classrooms on ePals from Germany. And this first one up here says the students are in grade 8, 13 or 14 years old. So let's see what Mr. H wants to collaborate on. You can click on more. And more will take us to a full profile of the project that Mr. H is hosting. The students are in grade 8 and the topics in their English books are about the United States, so they're looking for partners from the U.S. to basically write to. <laughs> okay, so you can click on Connect if you'd like. Go back and take a look. It says Contact in the bottom. If you're a teacher in, in a classroom that wants to um, collaborate with this particular class, you can click Contact. That'll get you to a place where you can um, get your students working with students in Germany. Okay, other things featured by ePals, forums, project forums. I clicked on that and that took me here to a list of forums that um, students and teachers can go to. An ePals book club looks pretty cool. And then there are just a bunch of topics anybody can post on. So that's ePals. Pretty straightforward, um, but a very powerful tool allowing students from all over the world to collaborate and connect, which is really important in today's age. So. I hope you enjoyed uh, the tutorial and learned a lot from it. I'll see you online.